I'd like to go over the steering wheel controls and instrument panel with you. On the left side, it mostly covers media, so we can skip forward and back between tracks with the top and bottom button. We can go up and down with volume using the scroll wheel, and we can also click on the scroll wheel to pause or mute a certain audio track. We can also click and hold on this scroll wheel to choose what we want to see on the left side of the instrument panel. We can scroll down and see energy, see the energy usage we've had over the last 30 miles. We can also see trip information and navigation if we had a route. If we had a route, it would automatically populate this left side, but you can always come back to one of these previous ones. To start the car, all you need to do is press the brake pedal. It already knows I'm here because there's a sensor in the seat. So I press the brake, it flips over the center screen, gives me some lights on top for warning lights, and then shows me my speed on the left side, again in the middle with that large zero, shows how much range I have available, and on the right side we see how much energy we've consumed instantaneously. So right now it's an orange line right around zero. As we accelerate, that orange line builds up and shows how much you're consuming. When you regenerate, when you lift off of the accelerator pedal, the car will slow down and it'll start recharging the battery. And this shows you a green line of how much is going back into that battery. You can also see what gear you're in on the bottom. So it's in park right now, but reverse or neutral would show there. The reverse neutral selector is right here. So I can press down for drive. I can press R for reverse and just a little half click in between gives us neutral. Pressing on the end gives us park. And if I need an emergency brake while driving for whatever reason, you can just press and hold and that'll actuate the emergency brakes. On the right side, we have voice control with the top button. So I can press and hold on this and tell the car to navigate to a location. I can also ask it to play a certain track. So if I wanted to do that, I would press and hold, wait till it says recording, and then say something that it would do. So. Play Rolling Stones. Let go of the button, and then it'll search for what I'd like to do. It now brought up Rolling Stones here. I can press on that on the touchscreen, and the car will automatically start playing Rolling Stones. I can see that on the right side, using the same control here where I hold down the scroll wheel, and now I can choose between these different choices. So, media, and now I see that the car is playing Rolling Stones. Very cool. We can also use the bottom button to choose the menu here. We can customize or we can choose the phone menu. So if I click on the scroll wheel on customize, I now have a choice of what I'd like to do with this scroll wheel. It's currently set to all, and that allows us to cycle through all of the different choices here. Climate temperature, fan speed, display brightness, sunroof, media source. I can also initiate a phone call directly by choosing phone. And then I can choose my recent calls or contacts. I can scroll through all of my recent calls. I can go back by pressing the menu button again, choosing contacts, and then I can scroll through my entire directory in alphabetical order.